Okay, okay, okay. New York just got an advance. New York records 1.6 billion in sports betting in the month of January, their first month. Are y'all, are y'all, are y'all listening? 1.6 billion. Let's talk about it. This is the first month New York has made it available, and you can only imagine how much taxes are coming out of that $1.6 billion for the state of New York to use however they see fit to screw the community that it pulls from over. <laughs> Arizona set the previous record last fall after the state reported a combined $777 million handled in September and October. But let's not forget New Jersey set the one-month handled record at $1.3 billion in October. That's recently in the fall. Um, this is very... Uh, exciting. There's a there's a few industries that I really do see opportunities for the states, and you know it benefits the people in some sense. Some people it does, some people it doesn't. Right. The two industries are cannabis, which brings in a lot of tax revenue, and online sports betting, which also you can see we can see it's bringing in some hefty amounts of cash. Is that sustainable? We don't know because we don't know who's betting. Is it the poor people? Is it the rich people? We don't know. Listen, this same type of betting goes on at your local uh, store and it's ran by your government. And that's the lottery. Right. This isn't no different. There's some people that think that this is such a bad thing for our communities. The lottery is a bad thing for our communities. I haven't won not damn once. I haven't won big once. I don't think I've ever won enough to cover all my losses. So there's plenty of bad things going on at your local stores. I think that Online sports betting is, um, is, is great, and I think that all states should take, take it in and use it as an opportunity to bring in additional uh, revenue for the states that you can use to build all the stuff that Mr. Byron wants to print money to do. We can do it by naturally, letting it occur naturally right here. I, listen, I've been talking about DraftKings. I like DraftKings at the prices running at right now. Um, as we go into the, I mean, I think right now is the best time for me personally to continue to double down. I'm already in DraftKings for, for those of y'all who don't know. I'm disclosing that now. Um, and DraftKings has always been uh, the one with the market share because they spend a lot of money on marketing. And recently they just announced, right? And I think that the people are going to, this is going to be good because there's, like I said, there's a lot of bad rap towards um online sports betting it's like it's like seeing it's it's like seeing like crack for, for some people even though the lottery is the same thing like like i said I, every time i look at the lottery billboard i think i'm gonna win i don't know if they've they've just trained that in me but that's what happens but DraftKings announces a one million dollar responsible gaming initiative providing multi-year financial commitments to state problems for uh, uh state problem gambling councils this is a program open to 35 state problem gambling councils. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. Not only are they taking from our community, they're giving right back with the same dollars that they took from us. Um, like I said, this <laughs> we don't know who sports been. It could be rich people, it could be poor people. Either way, this is still good. I think this is a good way. Uh, I think whoever is behind the whole marketing and you know the vision and how the public perceives DraftKings, I think they do a very, very well job, especially when you compare it to a Penn and Dave Portnoy type of uh, public image and not to, sh to shit on Dave. I love Dave. I think he's a great voice and I think he's a great face for the company, but it isn't as, a, as of a clean look. And I think that he would agree and it's not his fault. You know, he has all these companies trying to bash him, but I think that DraftKings has a very clean look they have a very strong arm on the market share. And I think that I'm going to continue to double down on what I've been investing in already. Um, I don't think that this was a bad move. I just bought it at a bad time. And that's not my fault. And we, you have to realize that as an investor, just because you buy something and it goes down, that doesn't make you a bad investor. You just, you see, you know that there's opportunity. You just got in at maybe not the best time. You didn't know that whatever statistics was going to come out came out the week after you bought in and then boom now you just lost like five percent it's not the end of the world 
This has always been a long game for me. It should be for you too. I mean, if you're watching this, you're you're probably not watching this if you're you're a short term investor because I don't give a I don't I mean I don't give advice at all. But I I mean by the time my videos get seen, I mean it's not doing much help for short term investors. I would say at least. But either way, what do y'all think about DraftKings? Are you buying DraftKings? Or are you buying Pen? Or are there, is there another platform that uh, I'm not speaking on? that we should be watching that may outbeat may over uh come both of these as a leader down the road share the information for everybody it's you're, it's not hurting your pockets right that's what i always say the more information you share with people the more community we build the better it is so shout out to all my future millionaires if you're interested in joining the future millionaires discord chat Shoot me a DM above. We're doing all types of stuff like that. We're trying to build. We're trying to bring in resources together. We're trying to share information. We're trying to have daily financial conversations. I'd love to see you there. So all you got to do, hit me up on my DM. It's right above my head. And, you know, I'll get you the link. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hey, I don't know, man. I'm big on DraftKings right now, man. But, hey, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong.